Okay, we're doing a brief history of an Argentinian club called Boca Juniors. Uh, they were founded in 1905, uh, so 113 years ago. Their stadium was officially the Alberto J. Armando, but it's known as La Bombonera, 649,000. Now, they've been going 113 years, and in all those league, in all those league appearances, they've won the league. A fifth of the league titles are Boca Juniors. So I think they've won the league a fifth of the times it's been competed, 33 times. The Copper Argentina, they've only won three times. But they've got 36 domestic trophies um, since foundation, which is insane. They've also competed for some now defunct trophies, and they won them nine times. I'm not even going to try and pronounce my Spanish; it's just not good enough. But you know, they they have dominated Argentine football. International trophies is where it gets interesting as well. They won the Intercontinental Top Cup three times uh, in 77, 2000, 2003. They won the Copa Libertadores, which is similar to the Champions League, six times, which that is an insane amount, considering they've got to play games to teams from Uruguay, Brazil, Paraguay, Chile, Peru, you know, Bolivia, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela. They've got to play against every good side from South America. They've won that six times. In 77, 78, so they defended their title. They only won it twice in a row again in 2000, 2001. And then they won it in 03 and 2007. The uh, Copa Sudamerica, which is again similar to the Europa League, so again they're playing against the, the next best, you, you know, South American teams. They've won that twice, 2004 and 2005. And then the Recopa Sudamerica, they've won four times, which is sort of similar, I believe, to the European Super Cup. They won that four times, 1990, 2005, 2006, 2008. And they've also won some other um, defunct uh, international titles. Um, as well, they've won one, two, three, four, five, seven other international titles that are now defunct. That is a lot of trophies in in their history, and um, their league title history is insane. So a fifth since they joined the league, a fifth of the of, of, of the time they have won the Argentine title thereabouts. So one in, they have a one in five record in the Argentine league. So every five years they win the league at least once. That is pretty insane. They're never outside. They've never been outside of the Argentine top division. They're one of the... That's how good this club is. They're consistently good. Some famous players for the club. There's going to be some names you may have heard before. Avon Danzieri, former Argentine national goalkeeper from the 2006 World Cup. Played for Boca. Ratin, former Argentine captain from World Cups past in the 60s. Played for the club. Legend of the club. And a one Diego Maradona. Two spells for the club. He retired there in 1997. Some World Cup winners have, have played for this club as well, from Uruguay and Argentina, and, and um, it's interesting. Before the early 90s, most South American players played in South America. Uh, there was a big, there was starting to be a shift in the, the 80s, and then there was a massive surge in the 90s of Argentine, Uruguayan, and Brazilian players, Chilean players, all coming over to Europe. Before the, the mid to late 80s, most South American players played in South America. Uh, hence why. Maradona started his career at, at Boca in the 70s. Uh, it was to do with politics and economics. Um, and most of the star players played domestically. That's no longer the case, but there's still some very, 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 very good players playing at Boca Juniors. Um, and insane history, big rivalry with River Plate, which we'll get to, which gets very, very violent. Um, Riots and such. Biggest club in Argentina, uh, one of the biggest clubs in South America, one of the most famous clubs worldwide. Um, famous for their colours, blue and yellow. Also famous for the fact that Boca Juniors is also a multiple per, multiple use professional and amateur sports club. So there's a, that's a, th a theme we're going to find a lot of in South America and some parts of Europe is multiple use sports clubs. So watch that space. But yeah, there are a lot of trophies. And winning the league 33 times in 113 years. That is it's quite a quite a return. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the brief history of Boca Juniors. So thank you very much um, for watching. Uh, we'll have some more histories for clubs for you soon. I've got a lot more free time now this weekend as it's a bank holiday. And um, yeah. We'll see what other stories break, and I'll have some more videos for you soon. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll see you soon.